Hey everyone. All right. I decided to go ahead and take another video. I think it is safe to say I am starting to become addicted to taking videos. Well, actually, I wouldn't use the word addicted because it, it's not controlling me. It's, uh, it's actually just an interesting little creative outlet. And I'm taking videos of all kinds of things that I find that I'm pretty passionate about. And what I'm passionate about is taking control in some way, shape, or form of your own well-being and using the creative process to bring the imagination into the world, into the physical world. And for me, uh, that has actually come in the package of growing my own food and shopping locally and just finding ways to solve some of the more problematic issues that I find in people trying to take charge of their well-being. You know, I used to go to the store and I would get, I'd find myself getting very irritated at the cost of decent, clean, organic foods. I mean, and if you think about it, organic foods are really just meant to be foods that haven't been tampered with. But because the food industry is tampered with, and uh, I'm not afraid to say that, I mean, the information's out there. It's, it's our responsibility at this point to become aware of that, you know. We have been finding that for a multitude of reasons, I think the food industry is just one of them, that we find ourselves getting sick and um, malnourished, we're overfed and undernourished, and it's, it's not a cool thing, it's not a cool thing to experience. And so then we rely on the healthcare system, you know, for a problem that really doesn't need to exist in the first place because nature has actually provided us with everything that we could have ever needed. It's just that we've gone away from nature and instead we've depended on other things to provide us with what nature already provides us with. So this is why I find that there is such a level of importance in regard to shopping locally, um, being able to get the best prices so that you can feed yourself and feed your family, you know, with decent foods and I apologize for the fact that the camera is probably going to shake a little bit, but I am going to sit down now as I film this. And you might even hear some people back there. There are kids outside playing. It's a beautiful day, and uh, I'm outside. I don't blame anybody. But back to what I was saying. So after having graduated from Fitness Institute and uh, taking a good look at the health and wellness industry from a more objective perspective, I started to see that there seemed to be a lot of solutions to a lot of problems that we don't seem to understand in their entirety. One of those problems is the fact that we aren't, we aren't being fed properly. And one of the reasons we aren't being fed properly is because we haven't been made aware of the fact that the food industry has been tampered with on many, many levels. I didn't know it. It took me a few years to even figure that one out. In fact, I wouldn't even listen to the information when I when it was first uh, brought into my attention because I was paying attention to other things. It, it took me a while. And then once I finally opened my eyes to it, I was like, wow, it certainly makes a lot of sense. So then you go and you try to, you try to do the right thing and you find it's not affordable. There are people out there, they're working two, three, four shifts sometimes, several different jobs. Um, trying to do the best that they can, you know, finding it might cost six dollars to get a pint of organic strawberries, and really what does organic mean? Well, to my knowledge, organic basically means this is how food should be growing in the first place. But instead you're going to pay more for it so that you're not going to get the tampered stuff and the poisonous stuff. So, this is why I've decided, I guess, to kind of make it my mission to demonstrate to the best of my ability that it is possible, even with no prior experience whatsoever, to start taking charge on some level you know, of, your, of your own well-being. So for me, what was that? Well, that was starting to grow my own food. Um, 
I don't have a ton of stuff to pick from right now. I'm going to be honest with you. I just got started less than a year ago, and I am a work in progress. But given that I've got no background, I've never learned to do this. Um, I've taken whatever knowledge I have from YouTube videos and articles, and I've basically just kind of put them to work. And the reason I'm focusing on this plant right now, it's actually it's two plants in one, is because to show you that I've got like 11 peppers on this thing. One of them's fully developed in red up at the, up at the top right there, if, if you can see it, which I'm sure you can because I can. And as you can see, there's like a ton of these things all over the place. And I look at them and I just think they are the cutest things ever. Um, but part of the pride comes from the fact that I did that with my own two hands and I didn't know the how. I never know the how. I've never in my life known the how. But what I have learned over time is that if I've had a strong enough desire to do something and if my intentions were in the right place, um, and you know your intentions are in the, the right place if you really, really know yourself, uh, which I feel I do, then you can start to take some action and then your action will start to provide more know-how as the process goes along. And as I had said in one of my other videos, you know, I had made the decision that um, I didn't have anything to work with. I, I didn't have a budget. I didn't have space. I did not have any experience and I had no knowledge and I had no one to actually teach me to do any of this stuff. But what I did, what, what I did have was a desire. I had a very, very strong desire. And the uh, philosophy or thought or whatever it is you want to call it of if you work with what you have, life will provide you with more had become abundantly clear to me and that was exactly what I did. And that was when I went out, it was that week, I went out and I purchased a couple seed packets, organic seed packets, I purchased some organic soil, I worked with what I had, I used uh, the bottom half of some water gallon jugs that I had from the store that were empty. And you, you want to use water gallon jugs, you don't want to use anything that had dairy in it because of the bacteria possibilities. And with you know, the help of my husband, um, really from a keep me company and, and do this with me standpoint, we went ahead and planted these things. And so this very plant that what you're looking at, actually, again, the two plants that you're looking at right now, the only reason that they're here is because I had no idea what the heck I was doing and I did it anyway. And it was the I'm going to do it anyway that was the magic. And again, that kind of goes with a strong desire to do something for the right reasons. And especially if it's for the benefit of the all, and uh, which this is, because anything that I learn and anything that I know how to do, well, I'm certainly going to share that information. So, and if I can ever get this big enough, I I'd love to personally be in a position to where I can grow enough food that I can give it away. So... Eventually, the idea in life is to not make this a profit-based um, experience. I would actually prefer to live my life to where I just have so much I could just give it away. You know, if you have enough people doing stuff like that, you never go without. You don't come from a lack-based perspective. And when you don't come from a lack-based perspective, you are an empowered individual. And you don't even know it because you don't feel disempowered. So that's just an interesting it's just an interesting philosophy, and uh, I think it holds true, and it certainly holds near and dear to my heart. So, I wanted to do an update on the first two videos, uh, first couple of videos that I had done on my planting. And again, as you can see, now I'm actually using a better camera, so you can see, I mean, look at all these peppers. I mean, they are so cute. Seriously, look at those. They are growing like crazy and all I did really I did not do anything special this was not a very complicated process I planted them this is the same bowl that they have been in for a while okay and I fertilized them using organic fertilizer I've been using Joby's or Job's I'm not even a hundred percent sure exactly what it is how it's pronounced but it doesn't matter it's spelled the same and um, 
you know, giving them, making sure that they're in the sun and uh, as often as possible. It's a screened in lanai, but they're probably not even getting as much sun as they need to. And I'll tell you something else too. It took a really long time for these things to start to produce. Uh, usually peppers, 16 to 90 days, you'll start seeing them produce. These took months. And that kind of also goes to show that sometimes you might not get what you want when you want it or when you think you should have it. But sometimes if you just kind of sit back and keep going through the process, um, even if you treat it as a learning experience, sometimes it will reward you in ways that you never knew how. So I've got like 11 peppers on this thing, <laughs> on these two plants right now. And, um, you know, very, very late bloomers, but I have to, I have to be honest, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool experience, again, coming from a total newbie. And, uh, again, the spinach plant, which is... Um, really just from a few months ago, November. And I'm not entirely sure how long uh, these things are gonna last because um, you know, I've been cutting them. I'm not sure that I see them growing back a lot, but spinach seems to have a season as well. And I did also want to do a quick update on these ones that I planted uh, about a week and a half ago. So there's one of the basil plants another one of the basil plants, my very first tomato plant, that's a cherry tomato. And these are all of the lettuce plants. Now, I'm more than happy to film progress, but you know what else I am is I'm also more than happy to film quote unquote failure. So guess what guys, these did not germinate. <laughs> and about Five out of the 12 of these also did not germinate and as you can look at the um, the results they actually ended up kind of bolting a little bit and they grew very tall and skinny very quickly so these may or may not make it I'm not entirely sure but you know what I'm not totally attached to the result because I'm kind of involved in the process of it so if they don't make it they don't make it you know I will try again some things have worked out and some things haven't and that sometimes is just the way it goes and um, that's where some patience comes in you know just trust the process I went through it with the weight loss thing you know people go through that they get they get upset they hit a plateau I want the results the results the results well sometimes the results uh, might might be testing you you know sometimes it's it's really about the process I got this plant right now that is, it hadn't, actually it had broken. <laughs> However, now it's starting to produce flowers and it, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm going to try to show you anyway. If you can see underneath the flower, I'm not even sure if that's focused, but there's a pepper in there. There's also a pepper in there. Okay. And as I had also shown you, this little guy at one point was just this flimsy, flimsy thing. Now look at it. I mean, that's crazy. I just come out here and cut parsley whenever I want. And um, that's my basil, my basil plant, which eventually, and that's growing. I come out here and use that a lot. I love to put it on pizza. Yeah, it's my other spinach plant. The dill. Never grew dill in my life. In fact, I didn't even know I liked dill, really, until a few months ago. So, in fact, I thought I didn't like dill until I finally allowed myself to try it and use it properly. And then I was like, this is some really good stuff. So, an open mind really goes a long way. And um, so that's growing. I liked it enough. I bought some seeds, and now I'm growing it. And uh, it also started off kind of challenged, but... I think it I think some of them might end up coming along and you know what if not I will scrap this and I will do it again and uh, and I'll be cutting that red pepper very very soon okay all they were very late bloomers but nonetheless I'm I'm very very proud of them so I wanted to just do this real quick basically just to show you that sometimes you don't know how Sometimes you look at things and you don't know how, how things will work out. Sometimes you look at the world and you see the injustices taking place and it makes you feel powerless and it makes you feel angry and it makes you feel like there's nothing you can do. Well, I've got news for you. There is something that you can do. 
you can assume personal responsibility for your own well-being and if you decide that that's important enough to you then life will provide you the information that you need to take a step in that direction and sometimes that's all that it takes I know that for me that's been all that it has take, taken on on many occasions and if you go in that direction you'll be given more and that's what I have found to be true quite quite a lot of the time so and that even includes making videos which was something else I had wanted to do for a really long time and put off and put off and put off and you know and now I think this will be video number six or so and no they're not perfect and no I don't expect a fan base but I don't really care because I'm enjoying the process so maybe I'll get really good at this one day maybe I won't but maybe somebody will see these and they'll think well hey if she can do it then I can do it too and then they'll start to do it and then there'll be somebody else taking charge of their own well-being so we all are actually very powerful beings um, we're not actually told that but but we are we just have to stop intellectualizing our way out of using nature to our advantage and instead use our intellect to work hand in hand to assist nature you know in harmony instead of instead of nature so anyway pretty long video here so I'm gonna go ahead and and call it a day for this one and um, anyway guys I hope you find some inspiration in this and uh, I know I love to just kinda come out here and and sit and be with my plants um, I find peace in this and in a world filled with chaos it's the quiet uh, that can really really bring the solace you know and and just make things clear so on that note I hope you guys have a great day and until next time take care